Raise your hand if you are currently a medical student. Raise your hand. We've got a whole bunch of them there. And a few here. Okay, great. I'm going to come back to you. How many of you used to be a medical student in your life at some point? Okay, and how many of you have never been to medical school as a medical student, but you hang out at medical schools? <laughs> All right, so most of you have no idea what it's like to be a medical student, but you probably sense that it might not be that easy all the time. So I'd like to have three medical students raise their hand who, if you can remember, can you remember what it was like when you got the letter in the mail that said you were accepted to medical school? Can you remember that? And how excited you were? I need three very excited medical students <laughs> to come up here and take a seat and share with us how exciting that was that day when you got in to medical school. We'll just pass this around and just briefly, you know, what were you doing and, and, and the excitement, the joy. Good morning. My name is Jessica Palmieri. I'm a third year at Michigan State. So I was on a train, I got an email, and I was on a train going to visit my family in Kansas City. And I had Wi-Fi for no time, and then I had Wi-Fi for 30 seconds, and that's when I got that email, and I was really, really excited. And then I was panicked, because I was like, oh no. It is not to be a doctor, and that's a huge responsibility. And that was my <laughs> second thought. <laughs> and if you could just complete this thought, why were you so excited? Like, did you have some sort of a dream, or did you see some sort of a destiny that was now possible for you because you got that text or email or however they're telling people these days? So I'm, I'm going to be a pediatrician, um, maybe to the NICU, and I wanted to do that since I was really little. When I was five, I had this little journal, and I had these little like squiggles, and then I had like equals cancer, like they were like cheers for cancer, and so, and then I had it for like eight, I was five. So um, I wanted to be a physician for my whole life, and then when I finally got that email, it was I made your dreams so true. Wow, let's hear it for us. When I first realized that I was going to go to medical school, I actually was, I got a phone call from my dean of students and I was asleep. I was in undergrad, class got canceled, you know how that goes. So my phone rang and I'm not answering my phone, but I looked down, I was like, wait, that's stupid. So I answered the phone and it was my dean of students saying, hi, how are you? you know, well, congratulations, you've been accepted. So we actually got a phone call, which was followed up by email. And I'm not a morning person at all, but I was like wired after that. I was so excited. I was just couldn't, you know, believe that this is all happening. And so, what was your dream? Like, what what did this make possible for you? So, kind of like Jessica, I wanted to be a physician since I was little. I was actually inspired by my rural small town family medicine doctor. First day I came in, he said, "So you're gonna be a doctor, right?" I was like, "Yeah, I could do that." I was a realistic child. I mean, it was a ballerina, an astronaut, or a doctor, or a lawyer. I was like. I could be a doctor, yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to be a doctor ever since I was eight years old. And just to get that call to say, hey, now what you've been wanting to do since you were a child yourself is finally coming true. It's awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stephanie Zemek. Um, I'm a third year at Marshall University School of Medicine, but I'm actually taking a break for health reasons. But um, I, uh, when I got my letter, I had just finished working out at the gym, and I almost did a flip on the wall, um, you know, at, in the locker room. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I was so excited. Um, started texting, calling everybody. And of course, you know, everyone's at work, so no one's available. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was wonderful. I mean, it was the stepping stone. It was you know starting to see the pieces to come together and you know, your dream. And I also wanted to be a ballerina too. But then I hit like past five or six, and I realized that dream was never gonna come true. <laughs> So what is your dream in medicine? What was the dream that came when you got that letter, you said, right? So what did that make possible? Oh, you know, sorry, you know, sorry, yeah. Um, it just, it meant that like, I can start my journey. I can start, I, I want to be an orthopedic surgeon that I just love that field, um, and then I can start. Great, 
All right, let's hear it for our wonderful <laughs> medical students to get a prize. You can pick whatever you want. How about that? Look, we got Peckett's and Pap Smears books. Very good. We've got um, 